so fresh, so clean. And she cut that push up in her ass and me in the mind. This girl is fine. I done came to the club out 50 limb time. Can I play with your pet? The club wanna say I need to calm down. Security guard gonna sweat me now. Play a drunk, then I'm up. Threat me now. She getting drunk in the club, I mean she working. And then I like to see the female twerking. Taking the clothes off. Taking the clothes off. Taking the clothes off. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Our next match will be a female match between Canada and the United States. Introducing Team Canada. Number three, Rebecca Carvalho. Number four, Shannon Pereira. Number five, Allison Lee. Number eight, Kizzy O'Neill. Number nine, Abby Jansen. Number 10, Kathy Lee. Number 11, Misha Weber. Number 17, Madison Workman. Number 18, Angela Lancaster. Number 19, Sarah Powell. Number 27, Elizabeth O'Hara. And number 31, Catherine Williams. And introducing for the United States. Number one, Samantha Carlino. Number two, Sierra Esplan. Number three, Mary Beth Barham. Number four, Alison Fuller. Number five, Ali Campbell. Number six, Katie Gerzebeck. Number seven, Jessica McCarthy. Number eight, Anna Rose McDonald. Number nine, Madison Orbano. Number 10, Sammy Popper. Number 11, Hannah Prince. And number 12, Peyton Worth. Our umpires for this afternoon's match will be Melina Ilanes of Argentina and Rachel Williams of England. Please stand for the national anthem of Canada. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Our next match will be a female match between Canada and the United States. Introducing Team Canada. Number three, Rebecca Carvalho. Number four, Shannon Pereira. Number five, Allison Lee. Number eight, Kizzy O'Neill. Number nine, and now the national anthem of the United States of America. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Our next match will be a female match between Canada and the United States. 
Introducing Team Canada. Number three, Rebecca Carvalho. Number four, Shannon Pereira. Number five, Alison Lee. Number eight, Kizzy O'Neill. And the starting lineup for Canada, Shannon Pereira, Alison Lee, Kizzy O'Neill, Michelle Weber, Angela Lancaster, and Catherine Williams in goal. And the starting well, lineup for the, the United States. Samantha Carolina in goal, Ali Campbell, Katie Gerzebeck, Anna Rose McDonald, Sammy Popper, and Hannah Prince. Dexter Wiles, along with Tiffany Solomon, will be doing this game. The United States versus Canada in the ladies' division. In the Panam Hockey Cup. An interesting matchup we are anticipating this afternoon. Two highly skilled teams. I'm joined by Tiffany. <laughs> Good afternoon. Tiffany, your thoughts on this afternoon's game? Well, this is going to be a very exciting game. It's actually a very important match for both teams, but more so for Canada. Um, USA right now leading the, on top of the leaderboard. Um, so they look good from heading into the gold medal match. Of course, Canada um, with the defeat last evening by Argentina uh, from Argentina. This is a crucial game for them as they need to get a win and then it may come down to goal difference between themselves, actually with, between all three, among all three of the teams. So I think this is a very, as I said, crucial match and I think both teams will be playing at a very high intensity. Yes, we should expect a fast-paced game. Both teams very clinical, very quick, very experienced and we're looking forward for an excellent match up here. The Americans once again being led by their inspirational captain, Campbell, a very skillful player on the set plays, more particularly the penalty corners. So here we go, the United States with Popo to Campbell. Campbell trying to get it deep. And this is the Americans attacking through Garza Burke. And she's being guarded. This is Campbell now. This is Prince. And a, a shot on goal by Gorzabek. Very nippy for player. This is Campbell again to Prince. And we see Canada not applying much pressure for the beginning. I think maybe they're just trying to see what USA, what system USA is going to work with for the opening minutes of the match. And trying to, both teams of course, trying to settle and get into their rhythm. Like we saw in the previous game between Trinidad and Barbados, the teams would have played each other a number of times, so the players were knowledgeable of each other and I guess the same will apply here too. The Canadians settling back in a deep zone in their own half allowing the Americans to control the ball but the Americans not actually coming forward. The Canadians just playing for time looking for the counter attack and this is Prince and Campbell trying to control from the back but not actually coming forward. This is Campbell again over to Prince. The Canadians now trying to attack this is Popo, kissing and turning deep in the right side of the Canadian defense. The Americans go in deep and then come all the way back out. This is Campbell, try to go through the middle. Play broken up there by number four for Canada Pereira. Campbell again to Prince. Back to Campbell. The Canadians now trying to come forward and this is Popo with a shot on goal. Excellent goalkeeping by the goalkeeper. The Canadians just came forward slightly and Campbell, very crafty player, managed to find Popo down the middle. Correct. A nice long ball by Campbell through the middle. And a valiant attempted goal, of course, keeping it well to block it, but 
the USA with their first short garn of the match. So we have Campbell in, this, in the flicker position. If I'm not mistaken, I believe Campbell is leading the um, female side for for goals for goals for the tournament. So let's see if she can add another one to her tally. Yeah, she's very skillful person. You don't know if she's going to go high or if she's going to go low. This time she went low. An excellent save by the Canadian keeper. This is guards are back trying to come through on the counter-attack. This, this is Lee trying to get it out quickly, looking to find O'Neill, but the ball went into touch. And we see Campbell passing to Prince and the ball went into touch. So the Canadians now will have the first chance of actually attacking. This is Pereira now, deep in the right side of the American defense. Being guarded there by Popo as she gets around Popo, but could not have gotten around Campbell. This is Campbell now, trying to go deep, finding Lee in the interception. Lee flicks and scores! No, she flicks, but it was just outside of the circle, according to the umpire. Your thoughts on Lee? Lee doing well to collect the ball. She started the right side of the goal was open and drove down. Trying to drive down the right side of the American goal, but of course shooting from just outside the circle. And this is the Americans earning themselves another penalty corner. Ball coming off the feet of Weber, number 11 for Canada. So the Americans now will try again with Campbell. I guess this time Campbell is going to go high. She went low the last time and was well saved by the Canadian goalkeeper, Williams, Cathy Williams. And this is Campbell going high this time. That's our combination. One time low, one time high. But this time was wide of the mark. I think the Canadians did well in coming out and throwing her off that shot. This is Lee again. Lee to Lancaster. Lee trying to go high through the left side of the Canadian defense and the ball going into touch. This is the Americans now coming forward with the ball and the ball goes into touch off the stick of Campbell. A rare mistake by the U.S. captain. This is Campbell now. Controlling deep in her half, being guarded by two Canadian players. She finds Prince wide on the outside. And here the Americans come. On the counter attack. Excellent goalkeeping by the Canadian goalkeeper. This is Gazabak finding Campbell deep in the American half. This is Popo now. And the ball goes into touch and the umpire has awarded a penalty corner to the Americans. Yes, yeah, so this is the third, for the third penalty corner for the USA for the match. Let's see if they convert. They've switched to the other side. The previous two were taken from the, the right side of the goal. Now they're on to the left side. And they've switched the battery at the top. Of course, Campbell closest to the injector. And it goes to Campbell. She has a good look, but she shoots it straight into the path of the Canadian goalkeeper. This is Pereira trying to come away with it. Obstructed by the number six of the American side. This is Lee. Lee to Lancaster. Lancaster back to Lee. The Americans applying the diamond technique, trying to bring the ball out. The little Lancaster being patient, the Canadians. Lee again trying to go deep. This time Lancaster failed to control and the ball goes into touch. This is Campbell again. Over to Prince. Campbell again. Back to Prince and they're working it well. Campbell again, the engine. The controller of this United States team. She plays most of the minutes. This is McDonough going back to 
and this is with. So we see the USA moving the ball around quite nicely. Neither team pressing very high, but USA with most of the possession so far, with just 12 minutes left in the first half. And being solid on defense, getting good passes, not making a lot of errors. But the scoreline still remains nil all. Yes. So we see Canada pressing a bit more now. And there's the interception by Lee as they come for Lee to Pereira. Back to Lee. Could this be number one? But it's saved. Excellent goalkeeping by the United States goalkeeper. And we see the Canadians now picking up the pace. The Canadians actually made a few substitutions. So there's some fresh legs on the floor. They had Leafy coming in. They had O'Neill. And there's some injection in pace. Calavaro. And this is the, the Americans now controlling again. Campbell, back to Prince, this is Braham, turns, excellent turn by Braham, still in with a chance for a shot, well defended by Pereiro, this is Campbell again, back to Prince, and they're controlling the ball, looking for the opening in the Canadian defense, this time the play was broken down by the Canadian number 18, Lancaster, very technical defensive player in Lancaster. Very cool. Cool camera collected. Yes. Didn't panic at all. And this is Lee trying to go cross court. Ball going into touch. The Canadians actually have the Americans pretty quiet so far with almost 10 minutes in this half yes the usa definitely with more possession but the canada defense doing well to thwart the, the shots of goal because at this time in any one of the games that the americans would have played they would have already had one or two goals definitely and credit to the canadians to keep in the score line nil nil right now and actually putting some pressure on the United States. Yes. As I mentioned earlier, this is a crucial game for both teams, more so the Canadians. So I think they both want to make sure that they're playing smart and not forcing it or rushing. And this is red. You see, we have a player down, but player still. So we see one of the US players, she took quite a fall there. I think she landed smack down on the floor. That's Mary Beth Barham. But luckily she's up. She's probably going to take a few minutes to get checked out and have some substitutions. Yes, we see Popo coming back in. Popo, a very skillful forward, scored a lot of goals for the Americans as well in this tournament. And it's an onside bully. The Americans try to come away with it again. So we have Lee on the ball. Candela looking for a nice pass there to Pereira. Over to the right side. Could this be one? But a great save keeper. again. Your thoughts on the on the on the, the, the overall performance of the female goalkeepers in the tournament so far? Oh, I think that I think over the years the game has improved so much that even not only the out, the field players have to improve, but definitely the goalkeepers. And we've had a quite a good show from from the keepers here. All of them are very athletic, and they're making those saves at the crucial points. So kudos to them. It's not easy being the last defense on the goal line. Yes. And you're a very crucial player on your team. So we've had a good show so far. Yes, like I had, was pointing out in the last ladies match. In the past, the 
goalkeepers on the female side used to be very weak and now goalkeepers have to play a very integral role in the team winning and losing and with strikers like Campbell and so on you have to be very skillful as a goalkeeper to keep your team in the hunt. Oh definitely. Here we see the United States calling a timeout. The score nil nil seven minutes fifty four. A very tactical game so far. We see the Canadians starting deep in their own half and now as the half progress they're coming forward more attacking. Yes. And the American seems to be a bit stunned. Yes. I think both teams playing well. Of course, as you mentioned, Canada starting more with a half four defense, not pressing too much. Where the Americans came out full force, were pressing quite a bit, playing being very strategic and have dominated the half so far. Even though the score line is of course still nil all. You could see that America the Americans have more possession. This is Lee Lee to Lancaster. Lancaster back to Lee. Lancaster tries to go deep. So the Canadians looking for that. A lovely pass up there by Lee. But no one there to connect. And the Americans start the ball quickly. This is Popo trying to weave her way through the center. And Gaza Beck missing a half chance. This is Lancaster back to Lee. Lee trying to go deep, finding Leafy. Leafy trying to go around Fuller. Fuller, a nippy defensive player on the American side, just came on as a substitute. Fuller to Campbell. Back to Campbell. Campbell trying to go down the line, hopefully trying to find Popper. The ball raised. Now this is Lancaster, will take the free push just in the American half. Back to Lee. Lee to Lancaster. The Canadians applying the diamond. This is number 17 for Canada, Workman. Trying to go around Fuller, but the ball went into touch. This is Fuller again. Back Donahue, back to Campbell. Campbell trying to go through, finding Popper. Popper attacking the circle, has a shot on goal and has earned herself a penalty corner. Yes, I believe it came off the foot of one of the Canadians. So now the USA with their fourth penalty corner. I think they'll switch things up again. Going back to the right side of the wall. And we see Campbell once again at the top. In deep concentration. Probably Think thinking about it. Thinking about where she wants to place it. And she goes low this time. She goes low. Just about two feet high. And into the left hand side of the Canadian goal so the Americans take the lead with just over five minutes remaining in this half let's see what the Canadians could do if they will come to attack or if the Americans will try to improve on their scoring tally this is Lancaster the Americans deep back in the zone this is Lee trying to work her way through the right side which is the left side of the American defense this is Fuller winning it passing it back to Campbell Campbell back to Fuller. The Americans control it deep in their half. This is Fuller trying to go deep. Uh, excellent pass to Popper. Popper turns, finds McDonough. McDonough reverse flick, saved by the Canadian keeper. Gaza Beck trying to go through. Lancaster won the ball. This is O'Neill weaving and turning her way deep into the left side of the American defense. The ball goes into touch for a long corner for the Canadians. 
This is Lee. Lee to Lancaster. Lancaster. And a half chance for O'Neill. Okay. O'Neill was in the right place at the right time, but unable to just connect with a nice pass across, which would have made the score one all. But of course, America, the USA is still up. One go. This is Pereira now. Trying to go past number six, Gazebek. Pereira trying to pass back to Lee. Lee gets in, gets a flick. A shot in goal. And it's a penalty corner being awarded to the Canadians. I think it's their first. Yes, the first for the, for the half. Let's see what they can do. With just over three minutes remaining. So at the top for Canada, we have Lee, the captain, in the flicking position, with Pereira to her left being injected by O'Neill. And this is Lancaster, the stick stop. And Lee scores to the right-hand side, the same position that Campbell scored in for the Americans. Lee returned the favor, and the scores are now level once again. Two minutes 40 remaining. It seems to be a tight game we're having on our oh, hands definitely. here today. As I mentioned, both teams really want to come up with a win in this match. Very crucial for the table standings. And this is Leafy again. Lancaster deep in the Canadian half to Lee. Lee back to Lancaster. And the Canadians slowing things down. This is Lee trying to find Leafy. Tackled by... Fuller. A good try there by Carvalho to get it in to O'Neill. But America now with the ball. And a lovely tackle there by Lancaster. Lancaster coming away through the center of the floor. This is Campbell now coming forward. Two on one. Campbell shoots. Saved by the keeper. This is Leafy now. Leafy has O'Neill to her left. for the pass there. But nothing up front. She goes out wide right to Lee. Now Lancaster on the ball. Over to Lee. Up to Caravallo. Weaving her way around Excellent the USA defense. Turn. Another half chance for O'Neill who failed to convert. Ball coming off her feet. This is Campbell now. Right to go the wrong Leafy. Leafy wins the ball. Strong tackle by Campbell. Winning the ball back. So we're inside the last minute of the first half now. Game is tied at one apiece. And USA on the ball. Canadians really have the US stunned how they're attacking and this is Lee now coming away with it. Two on one. Lee has a shot saved by the goalkeeper. The Canadians counter-attacking trying to catch the US defense by surprise. This is McCarthy now in the backcourt. So we see Canada Campbell. trying to press for the last 10 seconds of the game of the half sorry. Lancaster in possession. Clever bit of playing by Popper. Didn't allow Lancaster to recover. She took it to her and have earned her, her team a penalty corner. Yes, a very crucial one at that. So the time has elapsed. And of course the penalty corner will be played. So let's see if USA can convert and go into the second half with a 2-1 lead. This is Campbell again in full concentration. I guess most teams know that Campbell will definitely be the taker of these set plays. And this is the Canadian keeper jumping the line. And a player has to be sent to the halfway line. So the Canadians defending with five rather than six. 
And this is Campbell going high to the right side of the Canadian goal. And the Americans take the lead. Two goals to one. Going into the second half. A very, very, very energetic and fast-paced first half. The United States were on the back foot a bit by the Canadians for the first time in this tournament. The United States were on the back foot a bit, but they managed to rebound and going into the half with a slim lead, two goals to one. Yes, definitely a great first half. Both teams playing really good. As you said, the USA dominating a bit, even though Canada was able to put in a goal and, and shake them up for an instant. But they stayed composed and were able to convert to make both to one into the second half. Yes. So we'll take a break now and be back with you for the action in the second half of this match. Back live with you to witness the second half of this very exciting female encounter between the United States and Canada. The United States scoring on the stroke of halftime to go into halftime with a lead of two goals to one. This is the Canadian starting things off. This is Lancaster trying to power our way through 
the left side of the United States defense. The U.S. now try to come away with things. This is Prince over to Campbell. Prince and Campbell controlling things, being very patient, allowing the Canadians to come forward. The United States may be just keen to control the ball and allow the Canadians to come and open the defense up so that they can get the ball through the middle. But this is the league trying to attack through the left side of the U.S. defense and the ball going into touch. Prince to Campbell. Controlling the ball with a flat back two defensive system. Just knocking the ball from side to side. Inching up all the time. And the U.S. able to work themselves around the Canadian players quite easily. And there's Gersbeck with a valiant shot of goal. And the U.S. is still in possession with a long corner. An excellent shot there by Gersbeck. The yeah, U.S. here moving the ball around quite nicely, finding each other in spaces. Now we have Canada on the attack with Pereira on the ball. Back to Lancaster. Over to Lee on the right. As we all know, this indoor hockey calls for a lot of fitness and stamina. And Definitely. as we're seeing so far in the tournament, both on the men's and women's side, the last five minutes of the second half is always most crucial. Definitely. This is where legs go and then the brain has to come in. Yeah, it's a very physical game. As you can see, a lot of possession changes all the time. It's a lot of turning, a lot of fast breaks. So like any athlete, you have to be in good condition. And this is Pereira for Canada having a shot on goal. Excellent goalkeeping by the U.S. goalkeeper. Very alert. And Canada earned themselves a long corner. This is Lancaster back to Lee. Trying to go deep on the right side of the American defense and the ball goes into touch. Prince again to the U.S. This is McDonough. Twisting and turning and the ball goes into touch. This is Lee attacking now. Lancaster over to Pereira. Pereira on the right side of the defense now. The lead. This is Pereira now, picking up the loose ball from the U.S. Going deep on the left-hand side of the U.S. defense. She plays the ball back to Janssen. Substitute. I think she's on for the first time in this match. Navarro coming on back for Pereira. This is Lee trying to attack the United States goal. She was denied from the right side. Now she was coming around the left side. She tries to shoot again. Now we have the USA on the counter. Starting with a fast break. And a good save by the Canadian keeper. Excellent counter-attacking by the U.S. They were quick and alert after they shot in their goal. And we had number six, Garza Beck, attacking through the left side of the Canadian defense and winning herself and her team a penalty corner. So with five minutes into the second half, we have USA with the first corner for the half. Of course, they're up to one currently. Let's see if they can extend their lead. And we have Campbell, of course, closer to the injector. And they're taking the corner from the left-hand side of the, of the Canadian goal. As we see, a Canadian player has been 
sent to the half line for breaking the penalty corner line before the time. And, and USA switching it up. This is the first time we've seen one of the penalty corners in this game taken by another player other than Campbell. Yes, so for the first few ones, of course, Campbell took them, was able to convert to. So, US being smart and switching it up. As the Canadians will be expecting to, for it to go to Campbell. And this is Campbell deep in her half in the position. And Prince trying to get it out very quickly to find McDonoghue in the process, raising the ball in the D, and the Canadians gain a penalty corner. Now, this is Lee who will definitely be taking this strike on this penalty corner to see if she can repeat what Campbell did as well and put her team back level. Ball being injected by O'Neill. Here it comes and she goes low this time off the deflection of the goalkeeper's pads and the Canadians earn themselves a long corner. Yes, yeah, going just wide on the right side of the goal there. Lead to Lancaster with a nice bit of individual skill there. 